Hey, Internet. This is Nate. Oh, oh. Sorry about that. I don't know what the heck that was. <laughs> Welcome to Vampire Survivors. We are doing more of the Perfect Save Challenge. So we have got two wins under our belt. Invested ourselves into some greed, into some cooldowns, some magnets, some move speed, some might, a little bit of area, a little bit of speed. So, hey, Kui boy. Now we come to the difficult part, the dairy plant. Dairy plant is a very, very, very easy level to just get completely wrecked. Um, we will take Pasqualina. We got to think through how we're going to do this. So first off, we will be able to evolve uh, the Rune Tracer because um, we will be able to get the armor from the ground. We will also be able to get the wings, so we'll be able to move pretty fast. We are going to pick cooldown, auto pick if we can, as early as possible. The best possible options here is going to be Labora. Death Spiral. Labora Death Spiral. Evolved Whip. Those three. Those three would be the ideal. But oh boy, this is a this is a run we could lose because that last wave is it, it's, it's exciting. Let's do it, friends. I believe, and with the power of belief. We can do it. Let's do it. Oh my gosh. This is scary as hell. Grab this first. Okay, Santa water. That's already a good sign. Getting an early Santa water can go a long way towards uh, winning in the dairy plant. I'm gonna be very focused here. No childish mistakes. Okay. Out of these, I think garlic is the best choice. We can't evolve it. We can't evolve it, but it will increase knockback resistance for most enemies. And it will keep us safe in the early part of the game. So for those reasons, we're going to take the garlic. We do want to get the map relatively early so that we can actually get the rest of the on-ground items. That will be pretty important. We're going to grab more Santa water for now. Laurel might also not be terrible. That's actually a thought. Keep us a little bit safer. But Laurel is only going to be good if we get Tome. If we don't get Tome, Laurel will probably not be enough. Oh, also the shooters will not be able to do much if we take Garlic, which is pretty good. Nice. So far, so good. Ooh. Milk boys. I think we just keep going with Santa water for now. We can get Santa water leveled up. We'll be in a great spot. Now keep in mind, we need to be relatively close to a train car. So that if a Reaper gets summoned, we'll be able to take it on. I am going to take the whip here. I think whip is pretty valuable. If we can get hollow heart, we'll be in like a great spot. Okay. Keep going more rune tracers for now. I mean, this seems like a pretty decent start. Hey, Bretman. It's going well. How are you doing? More Rune Tracers. I'd really like to hold off on collecting a uh, Candle Labrador and a Tractor. Oh my god, we just got mauled. I think we did include a little bit of regen, though. Yes, we have a tiny little bit of regen. Keep it going. I believe. Go full Rune Tracer, 
get full damage from the rune tracer. We'll get the accessories later. Okay, so we didn't get the first reaper. First reaper shows up at two minutes. There's axe. So really all we're looking for at this point, honestly, I think we've got the weapons that we need. From a weapon standpoint, I feel pretty confident. It's now down to what accessories we get. Um, okay, well, given that the other options were not that great, we will take a track orb early. That's fine. This is this is the spicy. Okay, hollow heart, hollow heart. There we go. That's the that's the second most important accessory because we really will need the healing from uh, the whip later on. But for now, just keep pumping out that juicy, juicy Rune Tracer weapon levels. Okay. We want to try to get the map at some point. I don't know what the right moment is to try to get the map. Okay, we're going to keep going, I think, Axe next. Hey, Fernando. Well, thank you. I'm glad you liked it. It looks very interesting. I, the little bit that I played of it, I like. I do think it does need a little bit more. Because uh, it, it does feel a little bit on the simpler side. But I like the graphic presentation a lot. I really like that style of, like, original Diablo look. Um... But the items are kind of simple for me right now. I think they could be a lot more interesting than they are. Okay, still looking pretty good. I'm trying to... I think we'll try to use this one to evolve something if we can. If we can get... You know, more... Uh, we can get more um, Santa water levels. Like, we'll already be very early with a Labora level here. Or a Labora upgrade. We can grab this food here while we're chilling. Alternatively, we could just go for the chest now. Let's see what we get out of this. Ooh, damn. Okay. I'm going to take a huge risk here. I'm going to go with the pigeon. Because I think Labora plus garlic and death spiral is strong enough as a combo to get me through the run. But I'm hoping that doesn't come back to bite me. With the healing of Whip and the damage of Whip and the damage of Labora plus the damage of Death Spiral, I feel like we'll get there. Okay, I think we gotta just take these chests and run. There's Candle Labrador, but we can't get that from the ground. I'd much, much, much rather get that from the ground. I'm gonna take at least one chest here. A triple! You love to see it. We really need to get cooldown reduction, though. If we don't get cooldown reduction, like, I think we might just be toast. But that triple was huge. Um, I think we gotta run. We don't have tons of time to mosey about. So I'm just gonna grab this, and we're just gonna go. We're gonna go for... The map. Getting the map is very, very important. We have a very, very uh, small window. Running out of the bulls was triggered. I think we just want more hollow hearts. I'm going to greed a little bit here. I think we have to greed for accessories to succeed in the run. There's a freeze. Don't know what that populated. Another running of the bulls. Okay. Keep in mind, there's two things on the ground here. Um, I can't remember what the first one is, but the second one is the map. We're just going to rely on... Okay. Trying to trigger, if we can, the green one. Oh, there we go. That's what we're talking about. 
Get some milk monsters. That's great stuff. Okay. Very nice. The perfect save means that we never take a loss. Okay, there's maxed out Rune Tracer. Now, we might not have to go all the way to Attract Orb, so that will give us some extra time. I think we're going to go... I think the progression will be... Um, oh my god. I want to kill these things. Because we got to level up quite a bit here. We're on level 20. Oh, Level 20 is brutal. We want to go Candle Labrador, then Armor... And then, uh, wings last. Okay, there we go. Level. Keep going, Santa Water. It's almost there. We're very, very close. We didn't trigger the green dudes. That's fair. The shooters don't bother me, though. They don't really do much. I wouldn't even mind getting the jellyfish, either. Um, uh, it's basically that. It's just never losing. I am kind of, in general, trying to play the maps in order instead of just grinding out the library in the forest. I think that's not so interesting. So we are going to try to keep moving on uh, to each one of the maps as they pop up. That's not really a hard and fast rule, but it's what I think is an interesting way to do it. So that's how I'm going to do it. Okay, we are so close to getting Labora. So very, very close. We got the green Power Rangers. A single level here. Keep going, Axe. A single level of Santa water will get us there. Yeah, let's let's just melt that group. We haven't had a Reaper show up, which is good for us. Now, I think by the time we get to the Bone Zone, though, we'll have already cleared all the levels. We'll have enough money, like it's not going to be a problem. How did you not lose the first run? Well, go watch it. It's available now. You don't have to take my word for it. There is video evidence of beating the first run. It was very scary. Uh, duplicator. We will not be taking Toronto's box in this run, because <laughs> we have no banishes at all. Hello, CRT. Okay. Uh, duplicator is now maxed. Besides, by the time we get to um, the Bone Zone, we'll also have Arcanas, which make it a lot less risky. Well, thank you. You are your belief in me. Thank you, Barbarian. Appreciate that. Somebody believes in me, guys. And it's not just the cats. That's a triple. That's not the triple that I wanted. I was hoping like it would trigger one of the close to being evolved ones, but it's fine. God damn it. Please, for the love of God, give me a Santa water. I, I literally need one level of Santa water. That's all I'm asking for. This is fantastic. Yes, I love when we get those. Thank you. Thank you. Please give me easy things to level here. Before we get to level 40, preferably. Hey, Fleck. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. We have Labora. Let's uh, work our way south. Nothing is even close. We're going to just take this and run. Pigeon is not what I wanted. Really could use like a whip or an axe right now. But it's fine. Labora is going to be big for us. It helps us to get a lot of kills while we're walking. Which is really, really nice. And we're just going to head down south because we got to get the map. Now, 12 minutes is the next time a Reaper shows up. 
So just keep that in mind. We should try to stay relatively close. Ooh, green Power Rangers coming in hot. We should st try to stay relatively close to the uh, mine cars at that moment. Oh my god. Maybe we need to take this moment to level up a bit because there's a lot of dudes coming at us. Hollow Heart. I don't know how. I guess we can get projectile speed, would be pretty good with this build. But we really just. I'm waiting for Tome. Like, that's really it. It's Tome. Spinach would not be bad, too. But I'm just. I'm nervous to take anything that's not Tome. Because if we don't. There we go, Tome. Fantastic. This is a one. This is a run. We can win. We can win this run now. There's a Diablo one. As I, I was saying before, I think it's not really like... I think it needs to get fleshed out a lot more. It's just window dressing right now. But I could see it becoming really cool if they actually got like unique items and stuff each run. Like that would be sick. I think we are going to take Bracer here. And suddenly... Suddenly this is looking like totally fine. Pigeon? Dude, this wave was so good to us. Garlic. Oh shit. As I was saying, we got Mr. Man over here. Let's uh, see if we can crush him with one of these here mine carts. Oh my god, we missed. How could we miss? He was three feet in front of us. Hold on, there's another mine cart over here. Okay, get him on the straight and narrow. Get him with the minecart. Get him. Oh my god, how did we miss him? Ow. Burn them all. Hey, MJ, how's it going? We're gonna loop back around now. What an absolute turd nugget. Dodging left and right my minecarts. Yeah, he is very slow with hyper off. This is this is true. Keep going. Come on. My, where's the mine carts? Let's check if there's one. Oh, he's gone. Okay, we're good. But I do want to level something. What do we even have left? Is it just stone mask? It might just be stone mask right now. Like, there might not be that much. I guess Clover. Yeah, Clover's fine. Clover's better than Stone Mask. So we've now got all of the pickups. It's now just maxing out the items so we can evolve them with the chests. Picking up the on-ground items, grabbing the Candle Labrador, grabbing the armor. Oh my god, we did it. We got the Red Gem of Power. Whip is so far away from being leveled here. Okay, you know what? Screw it. We're just going to grab the chest and run. I don't... I know, Ain't nobody got time for this. What are your thoughts on the pentagram? It's pretty shit. Uh, it just has too long of a delay to be effective. It's, like, fine when it has the pickup radius when you evolve it. But its base is, like, pretty shit. And not just because it erases things. It's just, it's just too much time. Too much time between attacks to be worthwhile. You can't rely on it for really anything. And the enemies that would be good to get killed with Pentagram are immune to Pentagram, like the Reaper and most of the bosses. So it's just a pretty pretty shit one in general. Too little, too light minecart. Yeah, that's right. Okay, we gotta get down to these items though. Oh, there's one right over here. Is this the map or is this the other one? This is the map. Hot shit, we got the map! Okay, let's grab the other one real quick. I think it's just the songs, maybe? I'm not really sure. And then we can go grab the Candle Labrador. We can evolve the um, axes. And then the armor. So that we can evolve the Rune Tracer. Whip still has two more levels. Holy crap. How close are we? We're very close. 
It's the map. It's the map. That's right. Thank you, Monkey Taco. For those of you that uh, didn't know, this is the map. It's 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 the map. Okay. Now I'm going to turn on uh, guides. But we know kind of which direction we're going for the Candle Labrador. And again, we don't need to get wings. It's great if we can get them. But really, it's uh, Candle Labrador and armor that we need. Luckily, we are playing on normal modes. So there shouldn't be that many enemies. The one advantage of having the wings is it does allow us in the last wave to actually move fast enough to dodge the robots and not just try to endure them. We can also get the, uh... Which character is it that's unlocked here? I can't remember who it is. Who's unlocked here? The burb already had wings. This is true. Papilla. Wait, is it Papilla here? I think you're right. I think it is Papilla. That's right, because Papilla was the very first uh, coffin character. Ooh, man. Going back in time. First, first coffin character. Before every map had one. Oh, nice. We're going to get some sweet, sweet coin. Oh, is it? Sh no, it's not Shadow Opinion. That's a different one. That's from Capella Magna, I think. Oh, no, no, that's Gallo Tower is the is the rocker. I think it is Papilla. Oh, you, why, how did you even get in here and then get trapped in here? I've got a kitten that wants out. She's chirping at me. No, no, you're good. I also can't remember things very well sometimes. Like, once you've unlocked everything, it's hard to remember, like, what is where and so on. Cat being a cat, that's right. Somehow got in the room, but can't manage to get out of the room. Typical. So I said, this has, I would say this is like an 85% probability that we can survive this run. Um, even with the bird. And the advantage now is that we can actually get both birds, which is pretty good. Okay, there's Candle Labrador. Candle Labrador is going to make, uh, one, allow us to finally level or evolve the axe. So let's quickly kill this fool so we can do that. Two will uh, allow us to get much bigger Laboras, which means that they will overlap, which is very, very important for Labora's damage. You struggled unlocking Curse. I guess that's fair. You can always just grab the skull, which helps. Okay, we gotta get armor. Armor will also help out a lot so that when we do get hit, it's not just annihilating us. How close is the whip? It's one level off. Let's take a moment here. Let's take a breather. Level up real quick, get the whip leveled all the way, grab this chest, and then get the uh, bloody tear. Okay, hold on, I've got to get rid of this cat. <laughs> hey. Hey. What's it doing? Go outside. Cat's like, either let me out or I'm going to destroy all your stuff. That's a streamer pants. No, that's true. I've not been feeling that great today still. Uh, we got our vaccinations or not vaccination, the booster. I guess it's a vaccination, but we got our boosters, uh, which is a requirement to go to Japan. Um, and so I'm not feeling super great from that. It's had like a really... Not like a terrible headache, but like a mild headache that's been there all day, kind of left, leaves me in a fog. Oh shit. Don't die. Oh my god, we almost died of running into these guys for no reason. 
There we go. Pop. Bum, 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 bum. Nice. Papilla Pecorina. That's okay. Bloody Tear will heal us back up pretty quickly as well. Now we just gotta go get some armor. It's a very strong build. Got your third COVID sick day today. Oh, man. I think we've had it twice. Um, it's only been confirmed once. But honestly, worse than the COVID that we got was the freaking flu this year. We just got like the regular flu. Knocked me on my ass. Like I was in bed for two days. Couldn't get out of bed. It was bad. Lara was out for like two or three days. Like it was really bad. Yeah, I noticed that they changed the character music for Papilla. I don't know. Any particular parts of Japan you're looking forward to? Uh, I mean, all of it, but yeah, we're going to be doing um, Tokyo, Osaka, Kyoto. I think uh, of the three, oh, oh, it's tough. Osaka and Kyoto both are really exciting. Tokyo is also exciting for like a different reason, but I would say Tokyo is more like big city exciting, whereas like Osaka, Kyoto is more like, has more of like the traditional Japan stuff, which I'm really excited about. That's where we're going to do the onsen. I just realized I have a uh, flashing... Oh, not that. Flashing VFX on. We'll turn those off real quick. And a Labrador. Okay, do we have anything that can evolve? No, because we haven't got the armor yet. I kind of want to keep moving then if we can. Although there is... I'm going to grab this chest. There will be more chests in the future. There is a magnet somewhere around here. I'd like to grab that first. Before we move. Uh, bird is now maxed. There it is. Oh, a freeze and a, can or a, and a vacuum. That's great. Burn! Burn, everybody, burn! Nice. Very nice. Now we just have to get to the armor. Which should not be that difficult. Yeah, we have a very, very, very powerful build here. And with all the extra luck, we will crit our whip much more often. The projectile speed will mean that the Labora consolidates a lot faster. You lived in Kyoto for a year. It's nice. Suck was fun, but then went a few times. We're really excited to see uh, Super Nintendo World. That'll be pretty fun. So we'll be going there while we're there. We're doing Onsen there. Uh, in Kyoto, we're staying at a Ryokan. Um, Tokyo does have the sushi. We're taking a sushi cooking course. That should be pretty exciting. Um, we're gonna do the hike to... Oh, what is it? It's the... There's like a place where you can hike along a trail that leads to a waterfall. In uh, Osaka. Mino Falls. What's the goal? To win and not lose. Uh, but do it the whole time on a save without ever losing. Which makes it extra spicy. Let's get our armor stacked. And then we can start working towards the wings now. And it's, you know what? We just gotta believe, guys. You just gotta believe. I feel like also with the retaliation plus the garlic, if we do get hit by a robot, I think that they'll get knocked back pretty quickly. Honestly, I don't know. I really can't judge. But I feel like it's going to be a strong build. I'm hoping it will be. You had COVID last week. Had almost nothing. Just discovered my job. Required the test. Oh, nice. Yeah, I think it's, like, very mixed how you get it. And it depends on which, like, version of COVID. 
Like, I guess Delta is really rough to have, but like, what's the third variant? The most recent variant was much lighter because the virus mutated to not kill its hosts as easily. <laughs> there we go. There's our uh, no future. Omicron, yeah. I haven't been keeping up. Is there a fourth variant yet? I don't think that there is. Yeah, okay, there's extra luck. This might be a decent money-making one, but it probably won't get as much as the last time. Although we are evolving uh, Rune Tracer for the first time, so that'll get us an extra 500. But we're probably not going to get as much as the the, um, the library run. There have been other lesser variants. Okay. I used to watch when we were in Germany, stuck in our house. We used to like look at the stats every single day. I mean, we don't name all the flu variants. We just have the flu, and I feel like that's what COVID will basically be now. Is just the other kind of flu you get every year, or can get every year. I think we're good with money. We have the uh, whip to heal us. I'd really like to get the wings, though. I think it will help. In the in the world where we actually do need to dodge the robots, I would much prefer to have the wings than not, even though it will mean that we get roughly 150 less coins. Well, welcome. Glad you can make it to the live stream, Justin. Ooh, big robot time. Well, more like the the ro robot knights. I don't know if you can call them robots. They're just kind of like knights. Who use their swords for canes. I don't know. Oh, there's a, there's a bunch of shit up there. I should kind of go linger up there after. Lingering back where I was seems good. There's so much shit up there. Let me grab this uh, freeze, and then we can just kind of beeline for it. There we go. Yes. Oh, nice. I wonder at what point you're allowed to uh, auto-pick. I can't remember how many runs you have to have done by then. That would be very interesting to be like a pathologist or just like an expert in um, epidemics and then to watch a real worldwide epidemic unfold. I don't know if you'd be more or less optimistic. Okay, so I want to kind of stay... relatively close. To that, uh... Orologian. I guess we need a freeze later on. This is what I mean by having the Bracer and the, um, Candle Labrador and the Tome. We can consolidate pretty effectively here all of the, uh... All of the Labora circles. I play Plague Incorporated. That's like the opposite of a pathologist. You're like a mad scientist. Although I hear there, there isn't there like a cure version? Oh wait, no, you're always trying to cure. No, you're not. You're trying to kill everybody. What's the? Isn't there an opposite version of Plague Incorporated now? 
like a version where you try to cure instead of kill. I haven't played Plague Incorporated since for a long time. Well, there's Pandemic, the board game. Oh my god, we got a fiver. That's a lot of money. No candy boxes yet, though. We haven't unlocked the trouser yet. Yeah, but I think it's just the board game on PC. I don't think it's, like, different. There's a fire down here. Hey, Charlie, welcome. Sim Hospital. <laughs> I think it's right below there is the fire. Yeah, I can see it. I'm going to wait until the next wave, and then we'll grab the fire. Make our way up to the Orologian Trail. <laughs> the Orologian Trail. It's kind of like the Oregon Trail. A little different, though. I still would say Sim Tower is the best Sim game. For its simplicity, I love Sim Tower. But, uh, I mean, and uh, I don't know. There's a lot of good Sim games. I liked when they were just cranking them out like crazy, though. And there was like Sim Copter, Streets of Sim City, Sim City 2000, all around the same time. Well, you're welcome, Justin. Yeah, Monster Train Man. I'll say it. I'll say it at once. I've said it a million times. That's one of the games that should have gotten a lot more popular than it did. It did not help that the developers did not know how to advertise it and didn't fix the multiplayer, which was like the big selling point of the game for a lot of people. Okay, here we go. Big robot energy time. And we're going to be smart about this. We're going to burn our way through the first robot waves. All the way up to the Orologian. Which will then freeze the next waves of robots. Allowing us to get to another Orologian. Alternatively, we'll just stay here. And let uh, Labora do its thing. I like the latter option. We're just going to let Labora do its thing. <laughs> and trust that our armor and healing will save us in the event that they start to love tap us. What motivates me to play this game? It's mostly the community, to be honest. But it's fun to do challenging things. Clenching in fear. Yeah. I mean, we're only three runs in. If I had to redo it, it wouldn't be the end of the world. But I'm happy if we can get the win here. So there we go. Boom. Clean. Very nice. So we'll end up with... 8,000. Nice. And 11 unlocks. We unlocked Ebony Wings. So now we can get both birds. We unlock Spellbinder. We unlocked Poe. Nice. Gallo Tower. Asqualina. Uh, we got Rune Tracer. We evolved the Rune Tracer and we unlocked Hyper Mode. Okay, great. So now we have 8,000 more to do power ups with. We've already maxed out Greed. The next logical ones for me would be to start pumping it into. Some growth. Get the both of these. And I wouldn't mind some extra armor. And then maybe one spellbinder level. Can we afford anybody with this amount of money? Uh, Gennaro takes 600. Everybody takes 600. Okay, let's go back. We have to undo some power-ups. We're going to go boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. One, two. One, two. One, two. One luck. 
little bit of armor, a little bit of regen, a little bit of HP, a bit of spellbinder, and we can go. Let's grab him now. Let's get Gennaro now. And I'm just thinking what else we want to get with our remaining money. Oh yeah, oh yeah, by the way, uh, I'm going to be putting out a guide on how to get a Diablo beta key for the early access beta, which is this week. You can get an early access beta key for four bucks without having to buy the full game. I'll be putting out a guide for that uh, tomorrow on how to do it. Lara and I both did it. So we got our keys already for the early access. It costs us $4 each. Much better than paying $80 for the game ahead of time and not knowing if it's going to be good or not. And you can still get early access beta this week. Yeah, I'll be putting out a guide on that soon. Um, hey, Rona. Let's grab one more armor. Only take alpha keys. <laughs> it's the beta on any console. You get the... No, you don't get the full game. You just get access to the early beta without having to pre-order the game. There's a way to do it without pre-ordering the game. It costs $4, though. I will show you how to do it. It might also be US restricted, but I'm not positive. So watch for that video if you're interested. Okay, we're taking Gennaro into the gal into the Gallo Tower. Oof. Um, oof. Gennaro should be fine. We get the we get the early projectile, so we'll have plus two projectiles right from the beginning. We're gonna be able to evolve the knives. I think I can go Vandalier. So be Vandalier Garlic Bible. Bandelier, Garlic, Bible, and then whatever else from there should be fine. We're going to start by heading north. We got to get the Arcanas. Nice. Um, Garlic? We can't evolve Garlic yet, though. We can't evolve Cross. Cross is pretty good here, too, because enemies come from both sides. Damn. What do we want to get here? Do we get Rune Tracer again? There are not... Yeah, Shadow Pinion, I guess. Dog Flowers. Whip. I still wish that someone made a Twin Stick mod. I think the game would be so much more fun with a Twin Stick. Being able to aim certain weapons. Um, I'm thinking Rune Tracer here. Out of these three... Yeah, Rune Tracer probably makes the most sense. It's a tough call, though. None of them are the ones that I wanted. I'll say that. Really need to get Bible. That's like an oh my god game. Um, whip, I guess. Yeah, whip would be awesome with twin sticks. Even if it's only still horizontal, being able to pick which side it goes onto would be great. Be able to triple whip the same enemy. Bible! Okay. We're not going to get the birds. We're not going to get the birds. Garlic twin stick action. Yes, Rona. Now you're feeling it. Now you're getting it. We do not need to get Spellbinder. We'll get it at the end. I don't know if we can get Lita without playing in hyper mode. It's pretty tough to move already to the top and bottom without. And I don't know that I'm going to get um, wings here. Garlic actually would not be a bad one to get for safety purposes. Yeah, I'm going to get Garlic strictly for the knockback on the final wave. 
That gives us all of our weapons right away. Now we can go focus on killing enemies for a minute. There's armor. The classic garlic bible, yeah. I think that they got a lot better towards the end. Uh, like, the DLC characters are all really interesting and diverse. But I do agree that, like, early characters were very, very similar. They just have different starting weapon and different stats. I think it would have been nice if there was more interesting passives on characters from the very beginning. But guys, like, it was the first game. It was the first game. You can't fault them too much. They were coding using a Samsung fridge. Like, it took a while to get the feet, feet on the ground there. Now they've got a whole squad, an art department, music, right? That's right, I mean, and, and the best thing that Vampire Survivors did was set a price point that made it really difficult for other developers <laughs> to make it so much more expensive when the OG, the one that became popular, was so inexpensive. Okay, we got Hollow Heart. Yeah, it's weird seeing everything moving so slow, but when you play hyper mode always, it's tough to like go back to normal mode again. Okay, we're gonna continue with the whip for now. We gotta be cautious about what we take. Uh, we really need to get Tome if possible. I don't think Tome is mandatory for a garlic uh, Bible build, but uh, it's nice still to have. This is a good traveling wave. I kind of hate these red guys. I feel like this might be an okay traveling wave. It's hard to do traveling waves this early into the run, but... I think it's okay. I mean, if you don't take garlic with Bible, your, your Bible just tastes awful. This tastes like plain paper. You need that spice to lift it and elevate it. Something beyond just the words into a dish that's worthwhile that you can share with your friends and family. We're not going to take stone mask unless we have to. Another good reason to take garlic is the uh, tutors. Making sure they don't do shit during this whole run. Okay, more knives. This is a good way to kind of stack levels in. There's just tons of good enemies. What is the white bar on my camera? Oh, it's the light. Hey, Tome. There we go. Yeah, it's the blue light. I moved it a little bit into frame so that it wouldn't make me look so blue. That's my health bar. Yeah. <laughs> Let's pretend it's a health bar. <laughs> oh, man. Get him. Oh, we got more red dudes. I'm gonna just take out this guy quickly, if we can. And then we'll uh, keep working our way northward. Okay, what else do we wanna get? Do we wanna get I think we wanna wait for... Um, I think we still want to wait to get uh, Duplicator, if possible. It's not the end of the world if we don't get Duplicator, though. We don't really need it. I don't need it! I don't need it!
How close are we? We are not. We've still got a long ways to go. I need to start trekking. I can't take too much time. Or else we won't be able to get the Arcanas and Hurry Mode, and I want both of them. We can also go for the Coffin, which shouldn't be too hard to get. Does this run include DLC? Yes, we will get every single achievement, including the DLC, without ever losing. That's the goal. Um, Spinach is so good, though. I think we just take the spinach. Oh wait, did I miss out? Oh shit, we need to get Clover. I guess we won't get Duplicator then. Uh, that's probably fine. We have to get Clover to evolve the... Uh, to evolve the, the crosses. I guess it's not the end of the world if we don't evolve the crosses. I don't have any revives now, but revives are totally allowed. It's not deaths, it's losses. You can't lose a run. But I can die. Like, that's fine. I'm gonna die at the end of every run anyway, because the Reaper will kill me until I can get enough stuff to kill the Reaper. Okay, we're really close now. That's good. Took us seven minutes to get here, but we weren't beelining it. If we were to beeline it, probably get here pretty quickly. So we're going to see. It's whatever comes first. Either uh, spinach. Not spinach. It's either um, clover or duplicator. Whichever one comes first, I will take. Once upon a time, when I was doing a hardcore run, I ran into one of those guys and died and lost on the Gallo Tower as a result. It was tragedy. And I still hurt when I think about it. It's bees as a weapon. <laughs> Dude, Crafty Survivors, by the way, comes out in like two days. You can, there's a demo of the game. I didn't learn this until after I'd played like two or three episodes of it. Go try out the demo if you want to see what it's like. I liked it a lot. I thought it was pretty creative. And I like how every character plays completely differently from each other. That's very unique. Okay, um, more Rune Tracers. Crafty. Yeah, that lightning dash run was so cool. And I just feel like you have... I like having that much control over what my character does in a game like this. It's why I was kind of interested in the Diablo one as well. But everything can still be autopilot, and that's still the best way to play. That kind of put a sour taste in my mouth on it. But I think the, what could make that Diablo one really cool is if the loot that gets dropped was actually interesting instead of just like, oh, you get attack speed. Like, nah, man. Make my frickin' splinters turn into fireballs when they splinter or something stupid. Like, that's what made Diablo so cool, is that you got, like, this weird shit in your loot that made your things really interesting and different and unique. That requires programmers. More whips. I need to play more Star Survivor. The problem was is it felt just too easy. Like we just kind of burned through that game without really too much effort. But, um, otherwise it was pretty cool, and I liked all the stuff you could do in it, which was kind of cool. But, like, if I compare it with, like, Rogue Genesia, Rogue Genesia 
especially the earlier runs before you get all of the power-ups always felt really dynamic and i really liked the kind of slay the spire structure there Okay, that's the level 10. We don't have anything we can evolve yet. Whip is close. Um, we genuinely just need to get a final accessory here. Not one of those. Come on, give me a final accessory. Give me a, give me a clover or a duplicator and I will be a happy boy. Hey, Mibes, how's it going? I didn't hate Diablo 3. I thought it was pretty good. There's Clover. Okay, now we're good. I know a lot of people trash Diablo 3. I didn't play it when it first got released, so with that caveat, like, I know it was a much worse experience when the game first came out. But Lara and I loved playing it together. Like, that got Lara into gaming. Uh, even before she did Animal Crossing, we were playing Diablo 3 together. So there, I mean, Lara's really excited about Diablo 4. She's really, really excited about it. I didn't think the story was very good, but honestly, I liked the end game grind. I thought it was fun. Hello, kittens. You're back. Don't get trapped in the room again, though. That's not my responsibility to free you every time you get stuck. What are you guys even doing? What? Uh, tomorrow I do Hollow Cure. Walk you to Trader Joe's. Yeah, that might be a little bit too far of a walk for me. You can't walk there by yourself. You're 83 years old? What are you even talking about? <laughs> this is where we unlock Arcanas, yeah. This is a fresh save, yeah. We're on our, third, our fourth run. We've just done every map in order without losing. Different character, different map every run. You don't walk to Trader Joe's, you hitch a ride on a produce wagon. <laughs> Look, the kitten doesn't like it, sweetheart. The fact that the kitten is waving around and clawing at you and me. Bro, bro. Will you relax, bro? Okay, there we go. Random Atsu. Bro, 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 bro. Nice, double healing. Hey, Elena, Elena, I'm going to be upset if you don't go, or you can stay, but you need to not keep doing that. I love you. Holy crap. This game is very hypnotizing, and it's very smooth now that they've done the new engine. I also needed to turn on the GPU fix or whatever. That helps things a lot. Why am I so damn slow still? I feel like I haven't got hit by this guy in a year, and I'm still, like, just crawling. Okay, let's go get the, uh, character over here real quick. Well, they, they do have, like, their version of, um, what's it called? They have their version of Clock Lancet. That's what he was using on me. Okay, I think it's after this wave that I should go in and get the... Uh... Oh, I should be trying to level something. Oh, uh, Cross can be leveled. We're good. Yeah, it's only literally Gallo and those dudes that do the slows. Or Rune Tracer. Bro, will you just die? Just die, bro. Why are no- why is nobody dropping chests? 
Do we have like the worst luck in the world today or something? Anyway, this is a really good wave to level up off of, so we're gonna take advantage of that while we can. Uh, spinach. More Rune Tracer. If you're playing on the phone, it must be. Eh, it probably is a lot harder on the phone. I can't bring myself to play it on the phone. I played it too much on PC already. I think it would just uh, irritate me to no end to have to play on my phone. But I'm glad that it's available and that it's free for people on the phone. That's kind of crazy. Okay, I think we're good now. There's not so many enemies, so I'm not going to feel so bad if... Uh, What, what? Did I miss him already? Oh, there's Gallo. Gallo, just get wrecked, friend. Just focus him down. There we go. Love it. Nice! No DLC on mobile yet? Oh, dang. I overshot it. Dang it. Kittens, what are you doing in there? These kittens are driving me crazy! I mean, not really. She's just sitting there. Menacingly. Let's go in there and grab this. Excuse me. Thank you. There's two, three, four, and five. Excellent. Conchetta! Yeah, there's a DLC. There's a DLC with a bunch of, like, Asian-themed characters in a map. Legacy of the Moon Spell, I believe is what it's called. Get me out of here! Get me out! Get me out, coach! There we go. Let's go. We gotta run south. We gotta get hurry mode. It's important to my sanity. Uh, Tome? Is Tome max now? Tome is max now. Good. No, she's just hiding in the window. I don't think Candle's very leveled either. It's only level one. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta move. There we go. Whip. Nice. So now it's just Rune Tracer until we get the uh, Spellbinder. Just go, boys. Got a little love tap there. Should be good though. We're healing for double right now. Our HP is only 228, and we heal for 16 every time we shoot something. We'll get a freeze. That'll help. Just do a full send to the south. Yeah, we're not. There's no way we're making it to Lita. <laughs> the music just a, a titch. This seems a little quiet. Your phone couldn't handle it. I mean, that's fair. Limit break uh, does break your phone. I think that's why it's called limit break. Because of the uh, limited permanent damage that it does to your phone. Where are we? Okay, we still don't see, uh... We still don't see the... Spellbinder on the map yet. You're playing everything on the Steam Deck. I've heard it runs pretty well on the Steam Deck, though. I assume that the new engine helped out a lot. Okay, now we have no future. 
we can still go and we're gonna unlock um already immediately hopefully a uh, new arcana from Gennaro getting to level 75 I think is the no level 80 we should get there too All right, Papachero. Have a good day at work. It's 50 for Arcanas now. Just get melted, fools. Okay, Spellbinders on the map. We're almost there. We got from the top, or from the bottom, or the middle to the top in seven minutes. We got back down way faster. Let's just go with Bible for now. We can absorb this damage because of no future, as well as the uh, healing from the whip. We're gonna have a pretty hefty red gem when we get down far enough as well. How close are we now? We're very close, very close. Probably like one and a half minutes away. A bomb burger for dinner. Nice. It is an aggressively safe build. This is true. I mean, it's basically because garlic and Bible are so strong together. But the defensiveness is also really good. Okay, there's another Bible level. Don't mind if I do. I mean, if we wanted the ultimate safety build, we would have gotten Labora as well, but that's what we did in the last run, so don't want to copy again. But now after this, we can actually evolve Garlic in future runs, which will be nice. I still don't understand why Gennaro of, like, unlocks Pumarola. That doesn't seem to make sense lore-wise or just, like, theme-wise, but it's whatever. Here we go. Okay, more spinach. Now we've got Spellbinder, Gar, or Bible. Man, they still need tons of levels. Let's go down and get the, uh... The last artifact. And then we'll chill. Yeah, Lara and me are both kind of in similar spots. Where we're just kind of, like, here, but, like, not 100%, just because of the, uh, booster shots. Interesting. Did you notice that that was an Arcana chest? Beeline for Lita? Yeah, there's no way. But thanks for asking. We had to get them in order to go to Japan. Japan won't let you in the country unless you take a COVID test right before you leave. Or you have uh, boosters, like recent boosters. And we thought it would be much better to get the boosters and then not have to take a COVID test because that would just completely derail the trip. So that's what we're going to do. He's such a heartthrob. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, we already killed this guy. That was quick. Where are we at? We still have a lot of things to level. We'll get a lot of levels from the Mr. Krabs wave as well. We really want to get Vandalier by the time we kill Mr. Krabs. Very nice. Now we get to do our runs in half the time. Excellent. Hurry mode. Now, I don't know that I'm going to do hurry mode until after we've cleared all the maps, because it gets a little scary before you've unlocked enough rerolls and all that kind of stuff. Doing hurry mode. But eventually, we want to start doing hurry mode every time. Hello, Rybicky. Welcome.
Crush them. Crush them all. Okay, we need to go find a red gem. There's definitely some more uh, around here. Long time they'll see. Yes. How's it going? Not sure how you plan to get Vandalier. By taking both birds and leveling them until they are ready to evolve. Unless you have a better strategy that I'm not aware of. We should get rerolls. We need to get some of the uh, those characters completed. The other thing we need to get completed as quickly as possible is... Um, and where is the red gem? I know there's got to be one. We've killed so many things. Be only at level 54. You don't have a good strategy to get eight weapons. Oh, you mean for this run? I'm not going to get birds this run. Uh, candle Labrador. There's the red gem. How many levels do we get from the red gem? I don't know. It looked about eight. <laughs> Just play as Smith the fourth. Easy event. I mean, that's true. That doesn't get you the achievement, though, surprisingly. Also, strangely enough, if you are going to unlock Smith, it is very likely that you'll have gotten Vandalier by the end of that run. Okay, let's get armor. I can't remember which character unlocks Gemini. Okay, we have the Mr. Krabs wave. Hey there, Mr. Krabs. You're gonna help me evolve my Bible. Congratulations. Mow him down! Oof. Nice. Uh, Spellbinder's fine. Get him! Nice. Excellent! And we got a triple! That's a lot of money, 11,000, or 1,100, I mean. Pugnala unlocks it. That makes sense. That fits. Uh, Bracer. Just die, chicken. Holy crap, the chicken's tanky. And also didn't drop a chest. What a jerk. What a dirt bag. You say a jerk bag. I don't know what that is. <laughs> what a jerk bag. Uh, more bracer. This looks very solid, though. We're going to go in with um, very, very strong damage and very, very strong defense. Your revenge for eating all of her relatives. Uh, this is the fourth run. We've had one loss where we had to start over. It was on the very, very first run. And then uh, since then, we've had uh, clean runs through Dairy Plant. Jerkus Maximus. <laughs> yeah, Get him! 
Oh, there's a uh, coin bags over here too. Did not miss out on coin bags. Okay, maximum bracer. Oh, there's a big lion. Goodbye, big lion. How many more things do we have to level? One, two, three. Oh my god, still five more? Four more? He has a wife? <laughs> uh, something, something, Dr. Pepper joke. Or, yeah. Your Slim Jims? <laughs> Dude, I haven't had a Slim Jim in a very long time. Believe it or not, it's not at the top of my list of things to eat, but all of a sudden I'm like, man, I could go for a Slim Jim. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Vacuum. You're welcome. <laughs> Biggest dickus, yes. There we go. They still taste like spiced meat pasta paste. I mean, you're not wrong. Could snap into that. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Scary part of the wave now. Luckily, the shrimps are not immune to knockback. So we can kind of just beat them up as we want. They're never getting inside of the circle. The real question is how many uh, levels can we get? Can we get to level 80? Might be tight. I think we're gonna... Uh, ooh, fire helps. What is fire, and why does it burn? When's it my turn? Wouldn't I love... Love to survive the vampires above. Out in the tower. And stay for an hour. Vampire survivors. I carried on way too far with that joke. I apologize. Excellent. Okay, so that's clean. We got all the way through Gallo Tower. Hot shit. Hello, Karina. Welcome. Another 13. Wow. Okay, so we got Croce. Got Mortaccio. Nice. Nice. We got Arcanas. We got Conchetta. We got Saraband of Healing. We got Iron Blue Will. Oh, that's great. Iron Blue Will is great. Pumarola. New account. Yes, exactly. Character customization. We got Evolving the Knife. We got Evolving the Bible. I, I always get good value for my NFTs. Holy shit! Interactive base. Thank you for the super chat. Been really enjoying your content in Vampire Survivors. Have you heard any talk on the streets about a second DLC? Absolutely. They mentioned that they will both do DLC and non-DLC um, improvements to the game. They have not given a timeline, though. Yeah, no timeline yet, but they definitely have confirmed that they will be doing them. So I think we have to go with Arca next. Um, we have 7,000 coins left to spend. Revive will be like the last one we get. I think we go with... Do we just go extra growth twice? I kind of feel like spreading the love makes sense. This would give me only like 400 left, which wouldn't allow me to get anything. Let's spread the love. And...
then go to like that. That seems pretty good. We're getting ever closer to being able to clear everything. Hypo, Hyper Gala Tower isn't massive damage. So the only map we have left now is uh, Capella Magna. Of the main maps. Have the devs said anything about a console release? It's already on Xbox. I don't know if they're going to bring it to... Um, Twitch or Switch? Switch or uh, PlayStation. You have phones. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Uh, let me look at the maps. Let's see. Oh, we actually can't unlock Capella Magda until we get all of the pickups, which means that we have to play Moongalo. Or, yeah, Moongalo. We have to play Green Acres. We do not have to do the Bone Zone, though. Let's do Moongalo. This should not be too bad with Arca. We'll get Iron Blue Will first. We're just going to grab the six things that we want, and that's it. One, two, Oh, I didn't save up money to get the guy. Let's grab knife, though. Okay, so now we need... Projectile speed and candle Labrador. That seems good. Let's grab crown as well. We can get as many levels as we can here. And I think that that's probably good. I guess we can get revives. No, let's get spinach. There we go. Lightning ring seems great. Now, the one issue we're going to have, and I'm not going to count this against us if it happens, if we die trying to get the, the yellow sign, I'm not going to consider that a loss because this doesn't give you a game over screen the same as the others. I think that's a fair... I think that's a fair way to manage it because it's really easy to just get unlucky and die when trying to get the yellow sign. So that will be the one exception I make to the no death rule. Exactly, you finish the base map. Therefore, in my opinion, it should totally count as a win. But five maps, five characters so far. That's not bad. Go duplicator here. Just don't die anyway. That's fair. We could just win it. You got the yellow sign with the Mario. That's kind of tough. I feel like uh, Poe's probably the easiest one to get it with. Because he just blocks all the projectiles. Hey, Alex. Fine, we'll do it live. We'll fucking do it live. <laughs> uh, fire one. I don't really care what weapons we get here. It's a pretty easy map in general. Uh, more tomes. Hello, Mr. Krabs. Oh, that was quick. Melted that guy. 
Mario Survivor like game would be cool. I yeah, I can't repeat myself too many times. Everybody knows what Swarm Survivor game I'm waiting to be made. If you are going to make a game and want me to uh, instantly promote it, make that game. <laughs> if there's actually anybody in chat who does not know what I'm talking about, I am willing to explain it. But I've explained it so many times before. Yes, exactly, CRT. That's exactly right. You got it. That's what we're waiting for. The ultimate in survivor style game. Plus the, le the longevity of a game like that, because it has a multiplayer component and is randomized. Dude, that would be so sick. Nate survivors win. I mean, technically, you guys are all Nate survivors because you come out here and you survive my streams every time. You go away with a sense of uh, pride and accomplishment in what you've done. Vampire Survivor 76. I would say there is uh, about as much lore in Fallout 76 as there is in Vampire Survivors, but Fallout is supposed to be a lore-based game, so... I think that's why I didn't go over so well with people. Starship Troopers. I've heard that, isn't there a new Starship Troopers game coming out? What's it supposed to be like? Also, I'm kind of excited for the, uh, what's it called? The digging game? Survivor? Looks kind of interesting. Just It already came out. Was it any good? It's an RTS? Well, I probably won't play it then. Not that I don't like RTSs, but I feel like I'm impatient for them now. Oh my god, how do the cats keep getting in and then getting stuck? No, what's it? It's not... Be digging survivors? Well, there's gonna be another one. There's, it's like uh, Deep Rock Galactic. Yeah. What, you tried the game or you tried the survivor style game? I've not seen the survivors one. Oh, Lily's mad. She's stomping. I can hear her in the other room. She's stomping up a storm. I've gotta let this cat out in a little bit or else it's gonna start uh, harassing my plastic game. Buddy! You can't keep coming in here and then getting stuck. I've already let you out like four times. How do you use logic with a kitten? Thanks, Lara. Hey, we got the other bird. Okay, we take birds above all else. Catnip. Catnip Everdeen. Thanks, Ivan. I'm glad that you enjoyed and got help from the videos. My plan is to take this series, if I am successful in getting every achievement, my plan is to take this series and make like a like a 30 minutes to one hour video on how to get everything. But we'll see. That would require me to do this perfectly every time. Bird. 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 
Bird. Crown. I need more birds. I guess that's true. I don't think I'll need it, but if it gets spicy, we can always grab it real quick. Uh, bigger candles. Now, I can't remember... Okay, we already have... We can get chests now, because we already have a weapon that can evolve. I think you can evolve two weapons on this map, is that right? The bird is the word. That's true, that's what I've heard. Maybe three? I can't remember if it's two or three, but it's why I want to focus on just getting the birds and not trying to level anything else up. Slay the Spire is great. All of them are multi-chests. That's fair. Just gotta level up them birds. Uh, axe. More axes is good because they bounce. Bird. There's another one. Axe. Uh, bird. Bird. Nice. The birds are getting close. Bird. I feel like we're just- I'm gonna leave the chests on the ground. Um, so that there's a chance to get the birds even though Fire Wand is already ready. Get the crabs! Oh, grab this. Nice. Okay. No bird. Axe. Crabs. You ever close your eyes to playing Vampire Survivors and see XP flying from all directions? No, but I can understand if you do. Is there really no red gem anywhere? There's a red gem. Bird. There's a small clover. Oh, you're right, there's one over here. Okay, there's crown. Down this way. Got it. Cone of shame. <laughs> as fun as that would be. Uh, spinach. Come on, where's my birds? I only need four more birds. I want my bird. Give bird. Get some chicken. No glasses run. I do no glasses runs all the time. Come back when you're ready for a real challenge. I've got two on-ground chests. I'd like to get these... Okay, one bird is maxed. Two more levels left. Okay, there's the Arcana. 
Little eyeballs. Little baby eyeballs. Whew. Creepy. Let's grab the Arcana. It's not gonna do a lot for us, but it wouldn't be terrible to get. Get one more axe. We can at least get the double healing. And get damage from healing. Which again, not a lot of damage, but it is some damage. We are taking on a lot of damage right now. That's three chests on the ground. Candle. Come on, two more bird levels. The eyes have it. Oh my god. We're taking on damage. Where's my bird? I want my bird. Oh, nice. We get one of these. Very nice. Come on. Oh, where are the birds? We've only got two minutes left. No birds. Oh my gosh. Grab, yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, come on. No birds. Are you kidding me? They've got to be kidding me right now. Where are the birds? <laughs> oh my gosh. We're so close. Oh, damn. Okay, we gotta just go. Hellfire. Oh, no. Don't die, Nate. It's over. We didn't get the birds. Freeze. Oh, we can't level again. Grab the chest. We gotta run. We're good. I'm not gonna say it's the worst weapon we could have, but it's certainly not the best weapon we could have. Oh, the dodges though. Who needs weapons? Uh, I need weapons now. Whew. Nice. Chicken. Let's go. Oh my gosh. The sun is a deadly laser. Here we go. This is the bad times. Yeah, there was no way. All right, let's try that again with a real character. We're going to take Poe. Let's get some more stats here. Just get more of that for now. Excuse me. Let's go. Rona, we already said that uh, that one doesn't count because we beat the base level. The biggest thing about Poe is that he's really good at getting these uh, 
Oh my gosh. What if we die now? It would be the saddest thing. I'd have to play uh, the world's saddest song on the world's smallest violin. Now we just gotta get through, um, as long as we can keep getting the candles, we should be good. Look at that, guys. Crushing. Emotionally devastating to this guy. The fact that we've made it all the way to here. He's just... He, he can't believe it. He's shocked to his core. Did we actually get a clover drop? That's funny. Get pop. Suppose he's just one to get the uh, yellow sign with. And look at that. Suddenly, we have Capella Magna. Okay, so we have 1,000. Is that enough to get Porta? Cool. We will take Porta into Capella Magna. But for now, this has been Nate. We're going to end it for the day. Got a lot of stuff done. We got three maps done. Still have not officially lost. And we're cruising. We're going to switch over and do uh, some Gloomhaven on the um, side quest with Nate and Lara. If you want to join me there, uh, I'm going to post the link to the channel in the description. Hold on a second. Let me get there. Side quests with Nate and Lara. Here it is. Here's the link. So if you want to watch us there, we're going to be doing some gloom. Oh, Rona. Wow. Uh, thank you. But yeah, if you want to watch us uh, do some more games, Lara and I are going to be playing with her siblings. Some uh, Gloomhaven. Digital Gloomhaven. But for now, this has been Nate. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you next time. See you later.